It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And we'll be watching the dynamic Tyreek Hill, who's closing in on 1,000 yards receiving on the year. It's the Dolphins and the Chiefs, next on Madden Football. It is perhaps the best home field advantage in all of football and certainly the loudest as we welcome you inside Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. Today we hit double digits, week 10, and we've got a good one in store as it will be the Miami Dolphins taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. The shadow's starting to get a bit longer. Week 10 of the NFL season is here, and we're underway on EA Sports. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Here is Tua Tungavailoa heading out to lead this Miami offense. Anytime anyone throws for over 300 yards in a game, you know their name is going to be considered for Offensive Player of the Week. And in the AFC last week, our guy got it. Yeah, he was the guy on top of his game. He'll try to duplicate that here in this one. They'll run here with Raheem Mostert. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. They'll take that 14 yards on play number one. He was solid last week, over 100 yards in their victory on the ground. They want to get that going again. Absolutely. What they also understand is that from week to week, it's not necessarily the same, but they want it to be, right? What they saw him last week on the ground, they want to see in this game as well. And taken down just shy of the 40. Uh, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to KC. From the 39-yard line, here comes second down at six. Off of play action, tongue of Iloa. And it's knocked away and incomplete. He was looking for Jalen Waddle there, but now it's third down. You talk about this Chiefs defense. This unit third best in the NFL in stopping the run. Most of their challenges have come in the passing game because against the run, they've been pretty darn good. Now you've got to figure out a way to slow down those receivers before they get downfield and maybe make a few more plays on the ball when it's in the air. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 33. A run with Mostert up the middle. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. And it's second down. Well, the numbers for Mostert a week ago, north of 100 yards, the two scores. And, you know, you got to give a lot of credit to the O-line. We talked a lot about him, but offensive line was good, too. They're obviously in sync with each other, whether it's zone blocking, power running game, no matter what. He understands how to read them and find the creases that they provide. Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but here's third down. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. And that will be incomplete. The Kansas City defense tough to throw on there. And now it's fourth down. One thing that you're going to see from this offense is that they love the matchup with their wide receivers against this secondary. That one wasn't successful, but don't expect them to back away from attacking all game long. They're going for it. Here's Tua with it. And he'll be out of bounds. Wow, first and goal, and defensively, all they can do is shake their heads. Not only did they allow the conversion, but a big play as well. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal.
A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Here's Mostert, and he is in! Touchdown, Miami! Raheem Mostert with his sixth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Dolphins are on the board first here on the road in Kansas City. And that caps off what was really a balanced opening drive for them, Charles. They work in the rushing game and the aerial attack, and they end it with a touchdown. Jason Strong Sanders. in so many ways, wasn't it, partner? Their ability to throw it and run it and accomplish their goal, they've got to like the way that they started this ball game. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and it's now a 7-0 game. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Hightower not going to attempt a run back, and his guys will begin at the 25. Time to see what Patrick Mahomes can do here with his first possession. The quarterback out of Texas Tech getting set to lead this KC Chiefs offense. And when you think of Patrick Mahomes, you start to think about all of his attributes, and you realize very quickly you can't just put him into one box. No matter how the game proceeds, no matter what is needed, he tends to have an answer for it and plays accordingly. They go play action. Now Mahomes. He'll get this complete to Kadarius Tony. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. You talk about this Miami defense. Coming into this one, ranked number 19 of the NFL against the Pats. And it's really difficult to prepare for this team. This is the number one overall passing team in the NFL, but it shouldn't be hard to get excited about playing against them. The ultimate test going against that unit. And that's why you and I are excited to broadcast this game. Yes, sir. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. This defense for the Dolphins, they really played well a week ago in that win over the Jets. And what I saw on film was a nearly unstoppable pass rush. Five sacks last week, plenty of hurries given up. So now what do you do on offense? You just max protect, keep everyone in and run the ball, or maybe just one or two receiver routes in order to try and keep your quarterback upright. Offside, defense. Yeah, that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you <laughs> did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. And he'll only get this to about the 44 as they stop him short of the line to gain. Five yards, and that means they come up short as they're going to have to punt here on the opening drive. On fourth down, here's Presley Harvin on to punt. Back deep is Tyreek Hill. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. So Miami coming out for their second drive. And there, of course, was a lot of talk about this ball game coming into play. Two division leaders in the AFC. Could this be a potential playoff preview down the line? Yeah, and I think when you're talking about the talk about this game coming into play, yeah. you're talking about me because I blew up your phone all week prior to this one. I'm so excited about this game because, to me, it's not out of the realm of possibility that these two teams see each other again down the road. I like this matchup. They match up very well against each other. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is, and really a lot of the time they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance, they're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. They come up to the line now, facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Now a play fake. Here's Tug of Iloa. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. And this is what you want to see from a defense. Give up an opening drive touchdown, that's fine. But how about them going back out there, recommitting themselves to the task at hand, and forcing a three and out, and giving the ball back to their offense. 
Tua on fourth down. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Dolphins first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. On the handoff, this is Mostert. And a good push there defensively as they stack him at the 48. Gain of just one. The Dolphins at 7-1 now on the year. And they've been cooking these last couple months. Winners is seven of their last eight games. And as much as we hate to play this game, you know I'm going to do it anyway. Extrapolate that over a full season. What does that come out to, partner? 14-2. And, and anyone in the NFL, they'd sign up for that record, that's for sure. And his throw is incomplete. Now play number seven of this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. Here's Tonga Vailoa to throw. Oh, he's going to go for it all. And that will be incomplete. They weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. And that's a good bounce back after giving up a touchdown on the opening drive. Just one first down permitted, and then it out. Obviously, no loss of confidence with that defense, and now they get to turn it back to their offense. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A gain of 26 and a conversion there as well on fourth down. And that's a big pickup of a first down. And you know that all week, both sides of the ball, offense and defense, are going through every situation. And in this case, the offensive guys had the right play dialed up because defensively, you work on fourth down situations as well. And deflating for the defense, they can't get the stop here. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. And the officials here going to pause the game for a second. Looks like there's an injured chief on the field. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. Now second and three. They'll stay on the ground with Mostert. And they'll get him down right around the 16. They'll try and run here with Mostert. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to move the sticks with a gain of four on third and inches. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. It's Dolphins football here as we begin the second quarter as they've got it with a first and ten. Now they'll throw with Tagovailoa out to his left. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. So many times I advocate not challenging coverage downfield, but on this play, I thought he made an excellent decision to actually do so. If that had been complete, that would have been one for the highlight reel. Here's second and ten. Tua sets up to pass it. Touchdown, Dolphins! Elijah Higgins, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Dolphins have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Another impressive drive, so they're two for two. Two touchdowns, Charles, a great start to this ballgame for them. And one of the words that's really worked its way into our lexicon is stacking. They've stacked momentum each time out, and not only on offense. Between those touchdowns, defense held, forced a punt to get the ball back, and they played awfully well in this one. Both sides playing at optimum level. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and it's now 14 to nothing. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Hightower not going to attempt to run back, and his guys will begin at the 25. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. And Charles, still a long way to go in the season. We know that. But as it stands, these are your top two seeds in the AFC. So I ask you, is this a potential AFC championship preview? 
Brandon, I need you to get me a fence and a saddle because I'm about to ride that bad boy because I think there's so many good teams in the AFC. Maybe we can look at like three games a weekend and say, this could be an AFC championship preview. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. They'll get two on the keeper, but it becomes now a third down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you're doing like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. Pacheco gets it up the gut. And he's across midfield and into Miami territory. Seven yards on the pick up there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Hey, Ripley, Ripley. Here's Pacheco once again, and he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain that time, as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. They'll try for the first with Pacheco, and he's going to be a yard short. A two-yard pickup leads to fourth and one. When a good play is made on defense, oftentimes leverage is the key to everything. Defensive line not getting turned, all the other guys making sure they're in the right spot, and on that play, they were able to stop him short of a first down. On his Presley Harvin now as he'll send this one away. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Jalen Waddle running out, and that means that the Dolphins ready for another drive on offense. He's been really good in the yardage category, yet to hit the end zone, however. A minor blemish against him right now because the work he's doing catching the ball, in some ways he's helping serve as good ball control because the big plays that he's making have really helped out his team. Absolutely. They're winning on the scoreboard here in quarter number two. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. From the 24 now, here's a second and seven. Throwing now is Tungamailoa. Open man downfield is Waddle. He's got it. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Two minutes to play, first half. It's 14 to nothing. That one covers 29 yards, first down. They hand it off to Mostert. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. They suspected it. It was a power play up the middle coming at him. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. On play action, here's Tua. That's going to be brought in by Higgins. And down to the 20, he'll go before heading out of bounds. A first down there on a pickup of 25. But give them credit for a good read right there because they read the man coverage on the right side and sent the tight end a few steps down the field and then angled him to the left on a crossing route. He was able to get enough separation on this play to turn it into a nice gain. On first and ten, it's Mostert. And he'll at least get him inside the red zone here, down to about the 19. Well, Jerry is Sneed up to make the play defensively. 
I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. Elijah Higgins with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Dolphins have moved out in front by three touchdowns. Well, CD, that's his second touchdown already. And how about this offense? Three drives, three touchdowns. An absolute total team effort right now. And let's face it, I don't think he's done. We're still in the first half. There's a lot of time left Jason to go. Sanders I don't know what they're going to do on the other side trying to slow him down. But right now, he's feeling it. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that makes the score 21 to zip. Chiefs nothing. Jason Sanders to kick off for Miami. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Hightower not going to attempt to run back, and his guys will begin at the 25. Out now the Chiefs offensive unit ready to do battle again. But Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive, and they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice the two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that one back to the locker room just a little more animated. Pacheco gets it again on second down. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Mahomes looks to throw on third down. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Well, this one's complete. It's Rasheed Rice. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Mahomes, that's complete to Peoples-Jones. Heck of a broken tackle and able to work this down near the 23. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. Butker's kick here is good, and the deficit drops now from 21 down to 18. So, Charles, they are on the board after that kick. So three drives, three points, obviously not the start that you were hoping for, but they're able to erase that zero off the scoreboard. Yeah, I guess what you're saying is a point of drive is not what offenses are striving for by any stretch. They're happy they've got three now. They hope that that unlocks their offense for bigger points down the road. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And with seven seconds remaining, not much time to really do anything. And going deep for Hill. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And with apologies to Dylan Thomas, apparently they're not going to go gently into the half. They're still out there firing haymakers. They took a chance on a deep ball there, but it winds up incomplete. And going deep for Hill. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thank you very much. More from you two in a minute. But first, let's take a spin around the NFL and see what's going on here in week number 10. We'll start up at Highmark Stadium, just outside of Buffalo. And it's the Bills with the lead in the second quarter. Gabe Davis, a touchdown reception. From there, we head on over to Wisconsin to check on the Packers at home at Lambeau Field. And they were losers in that one to the visiting Houston Texans. C.J. Stroud leading the way in the victory with three touchdown passes. Finally, let's get to the country music capital of the world. G. 
see what's happening with the Titans at home in Nashville. As you can see, the score there in the second quarter. Kyle Phillips, a touchdown reception. It was Raheem Mostert, the veteran who did some damage in that first half. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. This was an extremely one-sided first half. One team showed up, ready to go. The other's been in a daze thus far, but there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly. And we will not have a run back here as the second half starts with a touchback. The Chiefs ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. Hello. And that absolutely okay. starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball to the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football right now. I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. Headed straight, it's Pacheco. A beautiful fake. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 15 more yards there, and quickly another first down. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. On first down, they go back to Pacheco, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? Oh, that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. 41 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. Throwing now is Mahomes. The throw for Tony is intercepted. Picked up by Xavier Howard. And the Dolphins are going to take possession here at their own 47-yard line. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. So now the Dolphins set to take over on offense. They're on a three-game winning streak and right now looking good in this one as well. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. He's going to take a shot right away for the end zone. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. A third quarter action from Kansas City, second down and 10. A handoff running left is Mostert. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. And not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And going deep for Hill. And it's knocked away and incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. Here we go on fourth down with Tua. That is caught. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Fourth down conversion plays, you usually think one, two, three yards, maybe 10. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. 
They'll run right side with Mostert. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. I think it's pretty evident we can say what a difference a week makes. Last week, he ran pretty much wild, didn't he? Did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one, they stopped him cold. That, to me, that's good scouting and even better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind the line right there. They obviously watched the tape a few times and made some adjustments. This will be caught. It's Waddle. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. First and goal at the three-yard line. Mostert will take this in for the Dolphin touchdown. So another touchdown there, and even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select is there. You want to run it, you want to throw it, pick a play, any play. They're rocking and rolling right now. Sanders now to add the extra point. And they open the lead up now to 25 points. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it was capped off by a touchdown run from Raheem Mostert. Hightower not going to attempt to run back, and his guys will be good at the 25. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah. He's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That's good for 28 yards. Well, maybe this offense has learned something from watching their counterparts work. I'm wondering if their coaching staff said, let's do what they've been doing the entire game because that's worked well. This offense, they have not looked particularly good all game long. But nice throw there for a good game and a first down. As he's got this down inside the 40 to the 39. Ball on the 39. Here's second down and three. Again, it's Pacheco. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Watching that play unfold and watching him complete it brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over-pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you. He did that very well. You praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. Took a great angle right there. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. We're back now in KC. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to get this inside the 30. But no reason not to try it there. They do indeed convert on fourth. So the drive stays alive after the fourth down conversion. First and 10 inside the 30. Meanwhile, Mahomes throw into the hands of Peoples-Jones. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down to about the 21 or 22. From the 22 now, here's the second down and six. Mahomes now to throw. That ball caught. It's Rice. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Rasheed Rice, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. He's got them out now to a three-score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, CD. And well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way, and he secured it for six points. Yeah, and I think when you're leading by a healthy margin already, it actually loosens you up and allows you to take maybe a few more chances and definitely play with more confidence because he certainly saw something he could exploit in the defense and he made sure to let his quarterback know, just get it to me. And the rest was all up to him and he delivered and made it a three-score game. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And 
I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Off of play action, Tonga Bailoa. And he's wrapped up, taken down, back at the 25. And they're going to speed things up here. They fake the handoff, now Tua. This is caught. Touchdown. Jalen Waddle, 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Dolphins are about to make it four straight as they add to this fourth quarter advantage. Brandon, what we just saw there were two guys who were in sync. The person delivering the ball, but especially the person running the route. Tremendous job. It results in a terrific play. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and they open the lead up now to 25. Jason Sanders to kick off for Miami. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Hightower not going to attempt to run back, and his guys will begin at the 25. And now here comes Kansas City. And that five-game win streak is ticking away here in the fourth quarter. Just haven't been as sharp in this one. Yellow. Mahomes now on first down. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. First down. Now Mahomes. That'll be caught. It's Tony. A big play there for KC. 42 yards. At this stage, there's nothing left to do but to keep firing. And if you're a play caller, you may go off your sheet and use some things maybe you hadn't planned to in this game. Maybe that was one of them there that worked. Mahomes firing complete. So the completion good for six yards, and that'll make it second down. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four at the 14-yard line. To throw, it's Mahomes. And that's going to be caught by Peoples-Jones. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. The offense on third down, two for five to this point. They need just a yard here, it's third and one. Work in the middle of the field and he's got a man complete. And the Chiefs are gonna have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on third and one. It's been all passing all the time on this drive. Five for five and now first and goal. Feels like a case of until they stop us, we might as well keep running the offense that we like to run. Don't change up and do something different just because you think you need to. Here's Mahomes to throw. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Well, it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. That time the completion goes for four yards and we're set up with a third and goal. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Now it's Mahomes again to the end zone, but it's incomplete. I think here the score dictates you pretty much got to go for it. But when you look at the scoreboard and you realize that three doesn't do you a whole lot of good in this situation, you're exactly right. Dial up one of your better plays and get after it. Forget the field goal kicker. He doesn't matter. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. They throw for it on fourth and goal at the one. And the Dolphins celebrate their goal line stand. 
So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. Get set. Out. That one looks like he'll throw here. They're going deep for Hill. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Now a second and ten. It's Tongue of Iloa from his own end zone. And going deep for Hill. Oh, a first mistake for him in the ball game as it's intercepted. Picked off by Legereus Sneed. And a great return as he gets this all the way down close to the 30-yard line. When you're on your own one-yard line like they were, oftentimes you're thinking just run on any down, get some space there. They like to throw it. It cost them. You get the sense that they were banking on the element of surprise. Right? Everyone expects you to run it there. Let's take a shot. Let's throw it. Try and create some space, some room. And it went awry, didn't it? So after the INT, here's Mahomes. And they'll set up the screen to Pacheco. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And a really nice play call there to start the drive, especially if you're a team that has a little bit of a reputation for throwing it downfield. You come out, and you think maybe you can catch them off guard a little bit, and they did. Little screen pass, back door them, and that time, with the ball for a solid game. Seven catches for him now in this last one, a first down. Now here's Mahomes. And it's caught. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Kadarius Tony, a 20-yard touchdown. And the Chiefs take the forced turnover on defense and convert it into six points. And yeah, that touchdown counts for their team. But I think it counts more for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just something maybe positive to look at on film. But this one's over, let's be honest. Yeah, I, th I agree with you totally on that one. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that'll cut the lead down to 18. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Dolphins offense returning to the field, and it would seem as if their three-game winning streak is about to go to four, but still a little work to do as they start first and 10. the ground it's Mostert to start the drive and past the 40 before he's out of bounds 54 yards rushing for him now on 17 carries another example of this offense really having their way Charles and another big chunk play there on the ground then when you look at the defense they've got to do a much better job of wrapping up when they tackle a lot of great opportunities continue to slip through their fingers as do the runners now a stoppage here as it looks like we've got a Dolphin shaken up on the play. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to KC. Go ahead. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Play action, now it's Tua. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill, complete. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 31-yard line. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. On play action, here's Tua. And going deep for Hill. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Partner, they've been aggressive airing it out all game long and no better evidence than those last two snaps. They weren't going to beat this coverage, though, two plays in a row, and that one falls incomplete. Now a play fake. Here's Tug of Iloa. Oh, this is intercepted, intended for Hill. Trent McDuffie with a pick. 
And the Chiefs come up with a late turnover. And it will probably only matter to the statisticians as this ball game is now officially over. So a victory here for the Miami Dolphins. And this win was impressive, Charles. And look, they were honest with us this week. They had this game circled on the calendar.